It was definitely a very difficult degree to get through, as you can imagine. My name is Karabo Rantuane and I am doing my Bachelor of Science Honours in Astrophysics and Space Science and I'm doing this at UCT so as you can guess I'm doing my fourth year at the institution. So the biggest academic win that I'm proud of is obviously finishing the degree because yeah, it was definitely a very difficult degree to get through. As you can imagine, doing astrophysics, you know, there's the physics component, there is the mathematics component and the astronomy itself. So having to deal with all those things was absolutely difficult. So I was glad to have finished the degree and now currently doing my honors. It's that I got to pick astrophysics. Né? Uh, when I was still back in, in primary school, all I wanted to do was sports. I wanted to be like a, an athlete or I wanted to, to be a soccer player. But then all of a sudden I get exposed to astronomy and I'm like, okay, this is the very... So astronomy for me was the very first thing that I was exposed to that was going to keep me in school. Otherwise, I was going to do something completely out of school, which was play soccer or do athletics. So it was the very first thing that I fell in love with and I was like, okay, I'm going to go with it. And I was very passionate about it because reading those books about stars, planets, the moon, how far they are, are we alone in the universe, aliens and so forth, all those things were exciting. And the channels too, as you can guess, my favorite channel growing up was National Geographic Channel. And as time went by, they added a new channel, Discovery World, Channel 136. So that also fueled the love for, for me and that, that was the only thing that I focused my eyes on. Although I was exposed to other career, I think when I got to grade 12, uh, and my mathematics teacher was like, okay, there's a new uh, field which is growing, actuarial science, mm -hmm. and it has something to do with finance. But obviously, going back to my grade nine, I remember having a very bad experience with EMS, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to be taking something in, in actuarial science because of the, the, the economic management science that I was exposed to. So, so all those aspects really contributed to why I made a decision to like finally take astrophysics as a, as a degree. Okay, so. so astrophysics is the study of the stars, the moon, everything outside of planet Earth and in the universe. That's what I would say. We study almost everything. Actually, not just almost. We study everything that has to do with stars, planets and the moons or all celestial bodies mm. or heavenly bodies that you can think about. So far, Earth is the only planet so far which we have that we know life exists. So obviously, some people, when they get into the field, remember, God is removed from the picture when we start to think of ourselves as immediately we are like, okay, we have this power within us to do things. Mm. God immediately goes out of the picture. But for someone like me that is religious, believes in God, when I look at the stars and I look at how everything is actually in place, the distance between the Earth and the Sun is 150 million kilometers. If that distance maybe was reduced by a few uh, uh, kilometers, yeah. Earth would be cold. So then I start to witness the greatness that God has actually put into this world so that Earth is at the right distance for life to actually survive. Because if you check the planet just closer to the sun, which is uh, Venus, mm. it's very hot there in Venus. If you look at Mars, which is a little bit further away, there is no life. So mm. Earth, you, you, as you can imagine, Earth is sitting between two places where life seems not to thrive. So hence, I'm like, it depends on why, why, what actually impact studying this field has on you. I get to appreciate God more because I see the beauty that he has actually made into this world. Mm. So. So now I get to university and I'm coming from high school where I thought I figured out everything there is to know. Because remember in high school I'm doing physical sciences where there's a bit of astronomy in it and taking back also some of the competitions that, that I've entered in the, I mean, to do with, with astronomy. I mm. build this narrative that, wow, I figured yeah. everything there is to know. University is going to be easy. You know, it's just going to be a walk in the park. Then I get to university. Then I noticed actually it's just the start of a very, very long journey. So it's not as easy as I thought it was. So that's something that I had to adjust now from, you know, being at the peak thinking that I figured everything out to being directly at the bottom now where I have to learn something, where I, where I have to get uh, rid of those old preconceived ideas that, that I had. Now, 
So the biggest challenge for me was definitely the mathematics. I didn't expect math to be such a big part of astrophysics in a manner that it was. And also because I did physics as another major in undergrad, abstract math and how it also gels into the physics that I was doing was absolutely difficult for me to understand. Hence, I spoke about linear algebra, which was probably the first abstract math that I've come across where now we talk about vector spaces and, you know, vectors are going like this, are going that way. I can't imagine these things, you know. I speak, yeah. I speak to my colleagues or like my classmates, they can see these things in space. I can't see what they are talking about. So it was absolutely difficult for me to really make sense of all all these things meeting people as well you know you meet someone who's doing their second year their third year they ask you what are you doing i tell them i'm doing astrophysics yo, yo, yo. you know they, they they make all those comments and it scares me because whenever i get to class now already i have this biasness good to know man this thing is very difficult even where where when i read a paper or like i try to study and i, and I don't understand something i don't go hard or make an effort into understanding because mm. i've been told that these things are hard so so, so what changed the game for me was changing the mindset where I noticed that people have different experiences at university with courses, either be maths or physics. And those experiences obviously boil down to a lot of factors, right? So when someone comes up to me and they tell me physics was hard for them, maths was hard for them, I have to take into consideration at what level of thinking they were or like where there are other things impacting their life such that they do not succeed well. So I had to sit down with myself and make a, a, a self-introspection where I was like, Carabo, why are these things so hard for you? And I got to notice, okay, maybe it's not that the course itself or the content itself is difficult to understand. Maybe it's because of the life choices that I myself I am making. So having to also change the, 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 uh, my lifestyle, how I, how I was doing things now, how I was studying and so forth really changed the game for me. So that the first mindset that, that I had to deal with or like a change in my mindset that I had to, to incorporate was number one, get rid of the fact that probably physics is not that difficult after all or the math is not that difficult after all mm -hmm. there's actually opportunity here to do quite well so immediately i told myself that thing i st started to enjoy the lectures because that's the other thing i would go to a lecture the lecture is speaking there and i don't even understand anything right why because already i had these preconceived ideas that these things are difficult either way no matter how many times i attend the lecture or the tutorials it's still going to be difficult so i had to change that my, that perspective that I had and be like, okay, this is very interesting. Wow, this is so much fun. So let me go to a lecture uh, and listen to what the lecturer is actually doing. So now I get to the lecture because now I've changed my perspective. Yeah. All of a sudden the lecture makes sense now. Everything that they're speaking starts to, to, to make sense and I start to make all those connections to what I've also learned in the real world. What I also uh, um, f f figured that works is also meeting people who share the very same interest as you. For example, I was, I was lucky then in second year to meet a friend of mine who happens to be very good at mathematics and he would explain all these diff difficult concepts to me. So now I, I, I was like, wow, this is mind blowing. We would sit in a random place and I just ask him a question and then he yeah. starts to go on and on and on. So going back to the previous podcast where you spoke about good teachers having the ability to spark something in you yeah. it was the same thing you know how usually people think of things is like i need to change my actions in order to change my results but how i think about it is you have your beliefs and your beliefs they drive your feelings and your yeah. feelings drive your yeah. actions and your actions they drive your results mm -hmm. so most people are like i just need to change my actions yeah. but you can't change your actions if you don't feel like doing like it like doing you it you know what i'm saying exactly. so it always has to be like i change my beliefs first mm -hmm. And after changing my beliefs, then, then my feelings are going to change. Definitely. I'm going to feel like studying more. Mm -hmm. like, like you said, that mm -hmm. once you had that mindset that this thing is not really that difficult, difficult right? Yeah. There are people who have done it before. Exactly. I can also do it. Oh, so your entire beliefs, they change. And when they change, it's like your feelings start to change. Yeah. It's like I can study for eight hours now yeah. because I know I can crack this thing. Yeah. I don't know why I'm speaking too much because I'm no, not, no, no, my voice, perfect. my that's voice perfect. is not going to yeah. be here. Well, what you just <laughs> said is absolutely I'm perfect. Yeah. So one advice I would give to my younger self is that take mathematics much more serious than you actually did. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I noticed as I went through uh, the years at university, 
I started to witness the beauty of mathematics and the ability that it has or like the, the potential within the subject. It's a very beautiful subject. Why? Because number one, it's quantitative. Yeah, yeah. In a sense that, you know, the ability to think about problems mathematically, I feel like, can be applied in a wide range of fields. So that's one advice I would have given myself. Take mathematics much more serious. So my favorite study snack is those colored uh, sweets inside that box. What do you call them? <laughs> the Smarties. Yeah, I think that's what they called. Yeah, those ones. I like those ones. Subject that nearly broke me, definitely Mem 2000. <laughs> Mem 2000 at UCT. Yeah, the subject that nearly broke me was definitely Mem 2000 at UCT. So one motivational quote that gets me through is, it's actually a quote from the Bible. There's nothing new under the sun. It goes back to, to what you just said, um, which is that, you know, there are people who have done this before. Mm -hmm. So then how different am I from those people? Mm -hmm. I just have to pay attention and I will, I will get through. Yeah. Final words, I would say I believe that there's nothing difficult as long as like, you know, you, you, you try your best and you give it your all, then you will definitely overcome everything.